to oh guys i'm messing up already hi guys so um i actually got a new product a little equipment to my little um station guys so i have the it's a tripod so i am able to place my phone up and i'm actually not holding it so i can move because you know i be moving throughout my videos and things like that um and we're actually in a different room so this is my living room guys i'm not going to give you too much but <laughs> you can see um so welcome from my home to yours your space is my space um welcome to the love growth and healing at um my counseling minus the boy you're back with candace so i'm going to do a video today and it's going to be um specifically for men so the topic is man who can you talk to so um basically with this topic is talking about how men are expected um you know based on like norms of things not to express themselves or just being like stereotype not um being able to communicate um so you know we're staying away from these stereotypes over here we're staying away from um you know just these so-called norms okay gender roles and things of that nature that's something we're non-judgmental non over here we're non-biased at all guys okay so let's get into it so i'm gonna speak directly to men um men you guys are underrated um i had noticed this year even for sweetest day i was like wow this really hit a lot different than valentine's day so i want to spend some time with you guys today um so men let's talk okay um i want to know who do you talk to when you are needing you know just to get advice to talk to to vent um and it may be that you have friends it may be you have a spouse it may be you have family um that you can so you may have this whole um support system and that's great now if you don't then welcome to counseling minus the bull love growth and healing with candace me okay um so yeah going back to these gender roles stereotypes and um um hmm, i just lost my thought it's gone so anyway um yeah, going back to those so it men are respected to be the breadwinners and um in our families right men are respected to carry all of this pressure um on them um to bring in the money to um be the disciplinary person in the family um men are respected to you know just take on a lot of weight and um with all of that pressure on you it's critical for you to um you know being able to release those um feelings exact thing and be able to talk about it and then you also have this norm where men um are not allowed to express themselves so if they if you see a man um talking about um how they feel um or even displaying certain behaviors or attitudes they are seen as weak that is not the case because you know what number one we are all human beings number two we are all human beings and number three we are all human beings okay you hear me everyone needs someone to talk to to vent just to help to put your place your thoughts in order to help get your stress out and um to help with advice right um so man who are you talking to okay um, I just want to tell you, do not be afraid to um, talk to someone, whether it's your friend, your family, your spouse, whether it's a mental health professional, whether it's just me, your counselor in training here at um, Love, Growth, and Healing and Counseling Minus the Bull. So um, let's break that stereotype. Um, man, let's start talking. Let's talk about it, okay? Um, so um, I want I'm, I'm really thinking of this. Okay, so I actually posted a meme um, about just this very thing, and this gave me this idea for the video. And in, in the in the um, meme, it actually was stating like, um, "Man, you know, um, it's okay to apologize. Um, it's okay 
to, um, you know, talk. And it's exactly that, guys. Um, feel comfortable with expressing yourself. Um, go past this stereotype of um, men cannot communicate. You know what's stopping you? Maybe all of the pressure. Maybe it's all of the unex well, the expected. Let's not talk about it. Um, also, you know, just carrying everything on you. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about it. What are you facing? What are you dealing with? Um, I know it's added pressure. I will say um, it's added pressure when it comes to, well, you know, well, that's pressure with every gender. <laughs> I say that. And it may be different emphasis. So traditionally thinking women were, you know, um, are the both birth, you know, givers and things of that nature, nurturing. Um, and then traditionally men were the breadwinners and that still kind of didn't change, you know? Um, so I want to say it's okay to embrace, um, you know, those sides to have this balance within yourself. Um, yes, you can still be this masculine man. You can still be this independent man. You can still be this breadwinner, but you can also be the man who can communicate and who can, um, vent and who can ask for help when needed. Um, and ask for advice when needed, right? That couldn't hurt. Am I wrong? You can tell me if I'm wrong in the um, inside of the um, comments. Uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Um, I'm trying to think of maybe a challenge. Let's see. What's the challenge we can do to kind of keep this conversation going? Um, I suggest for men do some journaling. <laughs> Writing down, just writing down. So a lot of men are creative as far as hobbies. So you may like poetry, you may like music, you may like um, drawing. Use that outlet to communicate your feelings. So if you may not have that person to talk to, use your outlet to communicate your feelings. Um, come over here to Counseling Minus the Boa. Um, join the community. And then um, I also challenge you to give me some feedback, okay? Um, look at some motivational interviewing as far as keeping yourself motivated and you know all this added pressure and just worrying about this step worrying about this and then worrying about um finances and um taking care of your family so um i believe maybe some solution focus um approaches is good and we actually have a video about that on youtube so where you're kind of well you're identifying your problems you're coming up with these solutions um, it's the focus is on the future. So you look at the future. Okay. Um, and then we also have, uh, we talked about motivation and interview on my motivating yourself. We talked about solution focus. We talked about, oh, let's do strength base. So you may have all this added pressure and things on you, but what are you good at? What are your strengths guys? What is your strengths? Um, it may be that your strength is that you are the breadwinner of the family, right? It may be that your strength, um, is that you are the disciplinary person in your family. You kind of keep it together. Um, um, you're like that authority in your family. Um, as far as like parenting, as far as, um, you know, just taking that direction and keeping your family um, together. Um, so I lost my thought. Guys, I just, I just really try to be so serious and really get into the things, but it's always just a little quirky me that lose my thought and things. Oh, okay, strength base. So yeah, identify your strengths, okay? That is a good way to um, build your confidence up. That's a good way to, um, yeah, just identify that, okay, um, you have all this going on, but you also have so much to offer, man, okay? Be appreciated. Um, also, uh, with strength-based um, approach, um, we're looking at ways that you can improve. So this can be a little, this is going to be where the communication coming in when you're working to improve um, certain things in your life. Um, this is not just for men. This is for also um, women as well. I talked about this method um, inside of the self-respect video. Um, so it goes both ways and it can go to different situations as well, guys. Um, so I'm approaching the 10 minute mark. Um, thanks for watching. I just want to really get started with this talk of helping men to, um, you know,
talk, okay? Break these stereotypes. Break these norms and these gender roles, okay? It's about you and it's about your love, your growth, and your healing. I just want everyone to be at peace, everyone to be healing, and to, um, yeah, sometimes you have to go against the grain, and that's exactly what we're doing here. Let's start this conversation and keep it going. And, man, just know you appreciate it. I thank you for watching. And thanks for being on this journey. Like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook at Candice.Watts.184. Follow me on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter at Counseling Minus the Bull. Guys, this is also new to me. I can't even remember all of the social medias. And I can't even remember what's my name on the social medias. I can't remember... Or I don't even know how to set up a tripod. I had to look it up on YouTube. But guys, look at this. This is amazing. Go get this um, if you're interested like in YouTube. Um, you can put your camera on here. You can put your phone on here. Um, it's really a good product. I got it from Walmart. It was $10. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. It's looking kind of professional over here besides this. <laughs> See you guys next time. And thanks for being on the journey. See you for the next video.